So yesterday we received 10 victims from the UCC shooting. Of those, three were transferred uh, quickly to a higher level of care. Two were treated and released. Four underwent operative uh, intervention here. Of those, one has already been discharged and one is, will likely be discharged today. Uh, and there was one that uh, was deceased in the emergency room at arrival. Uh, the two, three that remain are expected to recover recover well and at this point remain in stable or stable critical condition. O overall, the patients are doing well. We currently have three who remain in the hospital. Of those three, all are expected to survive. One will likely be discharged today. The other two will remain with us for a number of days. Both are stable. One remains critical and one remains stable. All of the injuries were gunshot wounds to abdomen, thorax, head, extremities at this point. Yesterday was a challenging day. The, the days and the weeks to come will be the most challenging. And how do we continue to support our staff, the family, the victims here? You know, the initial emotions are, are disbelief. It can't be happening here. And then it's, uh, it's focused on, on treating the patients. Um, and then uh, us and the staff we go through the rest of the, the, the range of emotions from disbelief, from anger, from sadness to, to resolution. And, uh, you know, it's still, it's less than 24 hours. It's still very raw for a lot of people, and I think you'll find most, many people are quite numb.